Right, it's been a while since we talked about Brexit. You remember Brexit? The transition period, Brexit trade deal, the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now, until now, we've been too busy, apparently, in mainstream media talking about everything else, apart from the fact that one aspect of the Brexit deal is causing a lot of issues. Northern Ireland. Trade inside the United Kingdom is disrupted because of the European Union. We're not allowed to have full sovereignty to be able to trade with our own neighbors and friends just literally only hours away because the European Union says that suddenly we don't trust your goods and products from the UK. You might accidentally bring it into the Republic of Ireland. Really, until yesterday, when we were still inside the European Union, you trusted us. Now, we know that all international institutions say that British standards are even better and higher than the European Union's. Suddenly, you still don't trust us. We know what it is. The European Union is protectionist. They don't care about free trade. They don't care about actual international cooperation. They want dominance. They want protectionism. Now, Lord Frost has come out to say that uh, we can and we will uh, cancel the Northern Ireland protocol aspect of the Brexit deal. Now, he has threatened us before, that saying that we can do this according to Article 16. And now he spoke yesterday, last night, in the House of Lords, the Brexit minister, Lord Frost, said that I urge the EU to take this seriously. They will be making a significant mistake if they thought that we were not ready to use Article 16 safeguards, if that is our only choice to deal with the situation in front of us. If we are to avoid Article 16, there must be a real negotiation between us and the EU. Now, you expect the EU to finally play ball. Now, my prediction is the same thing is going to happen over and over again. This is the chance that Boris Johnson, Prime Minister, has to redeem himself following all the recent idiotic policies and lack of credibility and losing the trust of many people inside the Tory party, the members and supporters and the voters, and all the other stuff that happened, this could be a good chance. Just like how in the previous video, uh, when we talked about Pretty Patel's last chance uh, to sort out uh, the migrant crisis, this could be Boris's comeback. And of course, he has to also redeem himself in other areas, we know that. But if he could use Brexit again to bring the country together, it could be a good start. My thinking is that the European Union will find a way to distract us by some time, come with some sort of fake concession. The UK might say yes for a bit, but the way things are going, the Brexit minister, David Frost, is the one man, one of the few, that I actually do trust right now. Just like Liz Truss. Even if you don't trust Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Dominic Raab, Priti Patel, Michael Gove, <laughs> there are two, specifically, two ministers that I do trust, Liz Truss and David Frost. They have not made any U-turns on the issues that they believe in, they keep pushing forward and forward, uh, and hopefully, you never know, maybe they could sort out the Northern Ireland Protocol. Um, at this point, the only solution is to use God Article 16 to completely ditch the deal and just get rid of the protocol and see what the European Union does then. Are they going to build a hard border? Are they going to build a wall? Because we're not going to pay for it. The EU has to pay for it. Now, speaking of the Prime Minister and his policies, on the main channel today, a daily show on the myatc.co.uk, we're going to be discussing the culture and the philosophy of tax rises and big government. Now, if you want to hear discussions that apparently are controversial for Google and YouTube, which we can't post on this platform, then definitely go on the website myatc.co.uk, where we actually do discuss a lot of issues that apparently is now too edgy. So definitely check out the website, support independent media against the complacency of the mainstream media, on my TC, and I'll see you guys on the main channel.